Today we're going to show you a simple and easy way you can remove a snapper rear riding mower belt and replace it. Next you'll be removing these four bolts on the cup here, 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 here. I'm using a 12 millimeter extension. Also lower the deck all the way down to the ground. The extension socket makes it easier to, to turn. So you just loosen those four bolts. Then I remove the wrench and I just use the extension like this. Makes it easier to get the bolts. Now the hardest part is getting the cover off. One technique I use is you can maneuver this a little bit to help. You gotta get this notch. And then I just loosen it off like that. I like to use a vice grip on the bottom and a 14 millimeter socket and I just loosen it. So while the vice grips are still here, I just quickly pull this out, take off this and you don't lose your nut. Okay, so anyways, now this comes out. I also chalk the front wheel so the tractor cannot spin forward and make sure it's in park at this point. The next step I like to do is I like to loosen the four engine bolts here, here, back there, and right there. I just like to loosen them. This is going to be highly controversial because people think it's not worth it, but I think it's easier to, I loosen the bolts and I put a little pry bar in there, just elevate the engine a little bit. For me it's easier to work from the top down. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to ever get under these or to try to lift them vertically. I just think it's too dangerous. I just loosen the bolts. It really doesn't take that long. Um, and then I put a little pry bar in there, just enough to lift it. Got one there and a screwdriver there. Just to lift it a little bit. The way that I loosen these engine bolts, I have an extended socket like this. And I just reach up and never climb under or never try to lift it vertically. And now I can just reach my hands under there and pull the belt out. I'll show you how. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is a heat shield that I made. Custom heat shield. But in order to get the belt, you have to reach your arms up under. Okay, so what I do is... I just gently, I push down on this and I rotate this forward. See how I'm spinning it? I spin it and the belt just comes right out. Just like that. It's real easy that way. And then I just reach around the other side. Now. Because I was able to get a little bit of uh, prying motion on the engine. It's now a lot easier. Okay, so now all you gotta do is just shift it back into fifth and the belt comes right out. Okay, so remember, shifting's important. That's the main thing. Loosening the engine bolts makes everything go a little smoother. It gives a little more play and everything. But that's just the way I like to do it. And there's other ways you can you can put a lot of pressure on the springs and, and try to jam it out if you want. But for me, I just loosen the bolts. I don't like to fight it. It only takes 10 minutes to loosen four bolts, you know what I mean? and then I'm not struggling underneath it. And again, I never climb under it, just use my hands. Okay, so the first step is to just reach that belt back as far as you could get it. I'm gonna do it from the back of the tractor so you can see better. Get it around the pulley. And now underneath the guard, because that keeps your belt from falling off. So now you just gotta do this part. Be very careful that you don't get struck by lightning. No, you, <laughs> you just want to get it around this pulley here. So I just kind of spin it a little bit. Make sure you have it around the pulley correctly. You can just kind of pull a little bit. Yeah, I got it around the pulley real good. Uh, the rain has arrived. I might have to 
cut this short. So what you want to do is put this back in. I'm going to start this piece of metal here. Has to get, this tab that's pointing up has to go down in the hole. Like that. Take your bolt from the top down. Push the belt back. Put in your pulley. Push, thread it through. Now I take my vice grips. Start to thread it. Try to make sure it's level. Figured it had to rain, huh? It started. Spin it. Put your four bolts back in. Okay, don't forget to tighten those bolts back up. And you're done. Let's test it out.